Hi, I'm Harry. Welcome to today's edition of New England Barnacle. Joining us today will be Dr. Harvey Crashmore, who will be showing us his specialist motorcycle detailing skills. He's invited us over to his shop and he'll show us just what he does. New England Barnacle welcomes Dr. Harvey Crashmore, who today will be showing us his motorcycle detailing operation here in his home shop. Thanks, Harry. It's a pleasure to be here, and I'm honored to be with you on New Hampshire Barnacle. Oh, Crash, I must say, you look very familiar, but I just can't place it. Well, honestly, people say I look like George Clooney. They sometimes mistake me for him, since I'm so worldly and handsome. Kind of cool we have the same initials. That's just a coincidence. Now, Dr. Crashmore, please tell us about your background and how you got into detailing. Feel free to call me Crash. The main reason I got into detailing is because detailing is very detailed. Because if you are detailing, then you must detail in a very detailed way. Now my background, I started off in school and then I went to more school and I ended up getting a doctorate in recreational and leisure activities. It was very strenuous. My actual inspiration to get into detailing came from a very great detailer who was known for his detailing top-tier motorcycle detailing. I'd always hoped he would be my mentor because he's so good and he really couldn't help me. I had already filled my brain with as much detailing as I could detail. Top-tier motorcycle detailing.com. He really is an inspiration. Can you explain what kind of services you offer? When it comes to detailing, it really is all about a philosophy. And we've adopted Zen, Feng Shui, and astrology. So we take the Zen approach. You have to think of the bike as already clean. We are instilling into the material world the clean that is already there. As for our Feng Shui mentality, I mean, if you can use it, why wouldn't you? I mean, first of all, let's just take a look at this right here. See, here's the octagon. I mean, look at it. The bike, how much cleaner is the bike already? Today we're going to be starting with my very own bike, a 2007 Honda Goldwing. Okay, well, what do you say we get these chairs out of here and we'll get to washing the bike? Most people would use a bucket, hose, soap, sponge, maybe some soft cloths. We really want to get the dirt out of it, so we're going to use a power washer. There's nothing better. Now, I have very special techniques, and I'm not going to show you everything I can, but today we'll be demonstrating the power washing technique I use on this piece of wood, so you can see how it works. Okay, first, let's get the power washer put together. There, now you can, you can really see how clean it gets the, gets the bike. And here now in the winter especially, we don't dry our bikes, we leave the water in it and that really, the ice really forces the dirt out of the cracks. It's really quite impressive. Well, after that fine washing, we're gonna work on what 
many consider to be the most important part of the bike, the chrome. We will get right in here and get to polishing the chrome. Okay, now that we're done polishing the chrome, let's uh, polish up the bodywork. Well, you know what? This isn't, this isn't something I have to hide from you. I can show you what I'm doing right now. Just bring it around the back here. And so here we go. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Can't beat that. Really can't beat it. Well, now for our final step, we're going to polish up our windscreen. Now, this is a very sensitive part of the bike. This is uh, a plastic, so we have to be very careful with it. So what we've decided to use today is we're going to use a belt sander. We're going to start with some 36 grit paper and uh, we'll, we'll go for Now I've already taken care of the wheels. The wheels look corroded. As you may know, this is the 21st century and we're into the second decade of it. Corroded is the new polished. Just remember that. Ah, well, one of our last steps is to sanitize the bike. In this days of the virus, we ha can't be too careful. Now this is, a, um, this is something that uh, most of my customers don't like to watch. And I, I won't let you see this directly, but we start by pouring some highly volatile chemicals on top of the bike. And then uh, we'll set it on fire and kill all those germs. Okay, well here's the part we've been waiting for, the big reveal. I can't wait to, for you to see your own bike and see what we've done to it today. You ready? It, it looks exactly the same. Well, yes, but remember, this is a philosophy of clean. We um, set out on this journey. We know the bike is already clean. It is merely our perception that is making it dirty. I mean, just... Just don't mess with your earthly view. I mean, look at this. I mean, look at this. It's clean. It's so amazing. Well, whenever I have the reveal, I like to, uh, I like to wear my favorite hat. There, well, I'll let you uh, get up and check it out and you can say some final words to our New Hampshire Barnacle viewers. Well, okay, there you have it, folks. Master detailer, Dr. Harvey Crashmore. You just can't find other detailers like him. We really appreciate the doctor showing us his skills. It's easy to see that when other detailers meet, Harvey's name always comes up in the conversation. Thank you for joining us on another edition of New England Barnacle. It was great to join Dr. Harvey Crashmore in his shop and have him show us his great skills. In fact, I had my own bike detailed. Let me share a few quotes from his customers. A detailer like this is hard to find. You'll be lucky to get him to work for you. Your bike will look like it never has before. So that wraps it up for today. I'm Harry. Hope to see you next time on another edition of New England Barnacle. God, that is so loud. That is so loud. Oh, my ears. <laughs>